it should be it should be empty enough for us to this yeah, you have to lift the whole thing yeah. this. Put the bottom of that frame. I'm gonna get Holly yeah. to do um, some prints or bios of, of everyone. So, well, I don't know how you're gonna, I don't know how you're gonna do it, but whilst um, me and Nathan are working, Rav, I need you to send like a literally 50 words, just overview of who you are and what you've done. Okay. I, 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 I'm Ravi. Uh, Ravi is a experienced videographer specializing in documentary style urban environments. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what I want to do is I'm going to get her to do a um, picture view with 
um, some blurb and we're going to get, get that printed over the weekend and then go to get that basically mounted onto some board and then we'll have that on display during the gallery. So I think part of like what's important is obviously the work that we're doing but also the people who are involved as well so I wanted to make sure that we do that as part of the display. So what I'm going to do, yeah. I'm going to drop you off yeah. um, outside into outside the, um, the Cornwall building. Mm. So just let yourself into Interfest. Obviously, just say I'm here to see it clear. Yeah. Go up there. Obviously, they know you're coming because I've I've said to them. Okay. I just realised you ain't got a bloody net. Oh. You guys get creative, right? What you do? What you do? <laughs> the drain the water out of the tanks. Yeah. Um, and just catch the fish, drain, drain part of the water into that bucket yeah. and catch the fish yeah. with your hand, just be gentle yeah, yeah, yeah. and put them into the, um, into the bucket yeah. and then the rest of the water put into one of the barrels. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to dry this water down to about 50%, maybe clear away some of the debris at the front and then I'm going to check for, uh, just see any like, little struggling plants here mm. and then we'll drain it down to another 30% to the bottom so everything all the other scout can be preserved then it's, it's easier for us later on when we go back so it's a bit uh, group but at the same time you want to keep as much of the water as you can just because it, it's it has all the bacteria mm. beneficial bacteria in there to keep the water stable and when we transfer him back into the same environment it'll be easier for him to uh, well, I'll have to down quick <laughs> to uh, reduce. You alright, mate? Alright, uh, yeah. I don't know who you are yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all talk to me about what? Fish. Stuff. Uh, I often you need to come in and. Uh, um, so I usually come in every Tuesday morning, so it's about 8 o'clock. Um, turn it this way. You can see there's loads of like plants, plants, uh, and they're, they're really like, like at the highest peak to be fair. So these are swords, they quite, grow quite big and tall to be fair, but uh, if you I turn it to the side so you can have a See like where the roots have really like settled in now, so they're really strong. So I think what it is is with swords because they get they get really really big. If you put them uh, so close together, they'll sense that they have no more room to grow, so they'll stay at a center. What's I'm just talking about plants. See, can you see how the plants are rooted in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're literally just talking about that, yeah. Pick <laughs> up the fire tower. Yeah. Are you trying to get the um, Yeah, I don't. Uh, <laughs> it's right in the corner where the rock is. Just needs to be quick because I don't want the plants to be out there. Actually, like that. I thought they'd be alright, wouldn't they? I was going to say, yeah, just take the water, I mean, he's quite big, you see? Yeah, yeah. They're quite small. Just take the water right down to about there. Yeah. And because the plants are rooted in, they shouldn't, in theory, move around too much. Yeah. Um, we just need to be careful as we're carrying it down, just to make sure that it stays stable. Alright. <laughs> yeah, so this is part of the Mark Gallery. <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to be under. Yeah. It'll be under square for about a week and then... I think that's what you were telling me about before, where you have all different like, landscapes. So, no, so we've got about... Where's the actual fish? In the bucket. 
Oh, So we've got 13 different fish tanks on display in the Senator showroom in the jury quarter. Okay. Oh, so yeah, yeah. So the launch nights on the What about all the shrimp and all that? There's a shrimp for you. There's enough for here too. Oh, you, oh the shrimp are still in there. The and you know we've got shrimp eggs in there. I guess on the podcast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so each guest got a fish tank. We have to leave it to his gallery. Uh, uh, and then you create your body. Ready for the next week? Okay. That's what I last day, you know, because it's different. Two week scenarios. In fact, if you ask one of those comments, it's not the long term of the night. He's not there. He's not there. So yeah, that, that guy ain't gonna survive, I think. Yeah. That's what you guys to Well, you imagine, like, sometimes they have a drought. Yeah. 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 There you go, yeah. you got a How are you? I'll show you something. I've got yeah. to. Um, you don't get offers like that every day. Hold on. Oh, they just... Egg? Is the fish in the grass? Looks a little video. Oh! Really clear. Nice. Looks lost. No, oh, sorry. Look, sorry. How bad does it look now? I know. Why are you taking this? <laughs> yeah, forever. Never are you to be serious? Seen you know okay. it? No, you get it back after the show. After the what? <laughs> after the show. The show. Which show? That's Here. Where, that's where this is going. It's going into an art gallery. Should oh. I get a poster? Oh, look, there's a picture. I know, yeah. I'm an advert to say this is what's happening, where it's happening. Oh. So, um, yeah. Do you want to bring it back? Are you going to bring some new fish? No, I'm just going to be... Oh. Same one. <laughs> we might have a surprise here. Okay, might, might do, we're trying. We're <laughs> trying. We're going to go because these plants are going to end. Did you see that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get more light to that one. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know about that. I didn't even, I didn't even see. <laughs> Didn't even see, bro. It's okay, it's okay. I don't care. <laughs> you got me in there? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'll get indoors for you. Um, the only thing I haven't got there, but I'll book it. I want to go there as well. Can you, can you, can you manage it? I'll try, yeah. I'll give it to Ravi. Ravi can carry it. Not doing much, is it? Huh? <laughs> 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God, it's happening. You're behind me. Where's your keys? Bump the, just bump, press the button a little bit. Oh. You are funny. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I'm carrying the way. That's heavy. Let me have it. Yeah, yeah but I'm carrying. <laughs> carrying. The boy says I'll be a show with him on my more traps. No, no, no. Where's my floating bar? <sighs> yeah, it's the car can be easy, yeah. <laughs> I touched it. Did I, did I empty it? That was fine. I think it was I had it there, you know, the phone, yeah. I didn't see it. <laughs> when I'm like, tell her, did you eat it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was going to say that as a joke. You know, yeah, you, you know you, I'm going to try to tap, uh, tap your legs when you're rustling. <laughs> <laughs> if I see a USN bar, like, wrapper lying around in the wind, I know it's you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what I'm tempted to do, actually? Yeah. Let's drive back to the center and show you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking it's about half an hour. It's enough time for them plants to dry out. Yeah, yeah. It'd be better for the, I'll tell you what, I'll drop it at the center showroom. Yeah. We'll put the tank on one of the desks. Yeah. Fill it up. Yeah. Um. Whoa, what? That. <laughs> and, he, and you know the way he's driving? He weren't gonna stop, you know? Like that. <laughs> I see some mad drivers when you drive all the time. Huh? I see some mad drivers when you drive all the time. Maybe I'm a mad driver. <laughs> nah, I think people think might be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a crime. I 
I know, 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 I Off, cause we're off, load a load of stuff. And then Nick up, let's get everyone settled because we want to do it. Yeah. And then Nick off, so I want them here to sort of block, but not like stuff. I can do that. Is that alright? Yeah. What time are you finishing your thing event tonight? I don't know, yeah, I ain't, I ain't got to the end of it. I'll tell you what you do, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it depends whether it becomes an out-out or whether it's just an out. Text me at midnight, let me know if it's a, if it's a long thing, then we'll meet at yeah, night. Yeah, it's like 30, it's like 30, you know, you just gotta get on with it, yeah. Just suck it up and get on it, you? You're my hero. <laughs> Come on then. Yeah. Um, if, if, if you can't take the drink, don't drink it. <laughs> It's not lightning. Yeah, what's no, what's the, the, I, I, I recorded that. Is they so. they named it something else. Yeah, it's, it's almost like the fish has got like its house name and its road name. So <laughs> 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 you got yeah, because my son um, when I set when I came to set it up or we'll service it, I took my son Ira with me, and I was asking questions. And obviously, we had a, um, a small service fire at the house at one point, and they called it lightning. So they was asking. I just wanted to give it a name and it was like lightning, but lightning's like blue and this bear fish is red. So they said, okay, well, we'll, we'll give it that name when you're here and then we'll give it another name. And yeah, so I think the, the fish has got two names <laughs> the dual heritage fish. <laughs> but yeah. I can't, remember, I can't remember what they called it though. I'm trying to remember what the name they gave it. I can't remember it either, you know. Okay. Did they say it to you? Yeah, it told me, bro. Lightning stuck with me more than yeah. Than yeah. They, they, they said. Funny enough, half the people in that half in the office office called it lightning, and the other half call it like whatever the whatever name you, whatever the name was. So you want to be hey if you if you want to be on camera, <laughs> we, 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 we can make you a feature. Where are you, mate? Where are you? 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 you? Where are 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 you? Where you? Where are you? Where you? Where are 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 you? Right, bye. Right. What a legend! Who is that guy? So that's the the, um, the printing the printing company, and they did the um, they've done the uh, when people come in, there's like a sign and uh, repeat, so like the life gallery with all the sponsors on it. Mm. So I've, I've booked in a black carpet. Um, we've got plants on the entrance as people come in, and 
that guy is the guy with the, the they're gonna drop it off, so we gotta give him a little shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Very, very happy. Because I was I was stressing about it for a while, trying to trying to sort trying to get it sorted out. And I kinda um I kinda sorted it out lot like, of last minute. Just spinning plates here and there and everywhere. So I, I, I sent him all the artwork and he sort of designed it all for me on Monday. And normally it takes about a week and a half. We managed to do it for Friday. What a hero. So <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> very, very happy, mate. What advice is on? Never be bound to the right. Let's have a look at the banner. Yeah, I'll go and get it. Well, I'll show you what. I'll show you a bit about it. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. We have a few displays on, on the desks. Yeah. And then this is like the main gallery area. Yeah. Ah, oh, so fishing this one. So that one's from um, Lightbox Digital. Yeah. And that's the one that we did the case study where we were sitting in front of the tank for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a little relaxation. Amazing. Stress relief. Stress relief. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just up here to the left. There's your banner. Where do you want to put it up? So we'll go here. Yeah? Here, yeah. yeah. Let's do a test shot. Let's do a test shot. Probably stand and not forget it. Yeah, well you can put it up, put it up moving man. Mm. Are they open up for the weekend? Yeah, well yeah, they've opened up for us. Normally it's Monday to Friday, but obviously because of the matter we've got this to do. Thing. That is one of the bottles. And where do you want to put it? Put it in front of this chair. So turn around. Obviously, the smallest and the one that had one pole. Yeah, so this is the same same premise. I'll pop it up for a while though, so I'm not sure it all looks good. Pops in and then just down to this black square that sits in. Oh, so yeah, it just goes down to the next make sure she's in. So yeah, people can have a photograph in front of that. Yeah, that's bonkers. Yeah, it's good, right? That's really, really good. <laughs> good? Good, I'm glad you like it. Wow. I'm sure everybody else will as well. Yeah, it's all good. Wicked, right, mate? Wicked. No problem. Pleasure, pleasure. I'm glad it's all coming together. It mm. looks like you've got a bit of hard work in front of you, though. Just a bit. <laughs> just a bit. I'll show you the, I'll show you the rest of the guys. Who's, uh, who's working? Just you, or you've got some of them? Yeah, we've got three. Yeah, two of them, guys. Yeah. Um, Doing the actors there, but I'll use doing sort of all the rest of the printed stuff. Yeah. There's a tank there. Tank there. Nice. Tank there. And then upstairs. Okay. You're getting like a sneak preview. Oh, this is it. This oh, is the. Uh, oh, I, I feel very honoured. <laughs> I feel very honoured. Sweat. Yeah, sweat. <laughs> it's a bit of blood. <laughs> that glistens. I can't go in looking at this. No. Alright. Alright. Professional now. Good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, they're taking it away. Yeah, it's taking it away. Yeah, it's 
two. Yeah. Do you want to clean it and then do the video again? No, no, it's fine. It's part of the, This is part of the struggle of. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> setting up a gallery. <laughs> so what we'll do? We'll um, I'll, uh, I'll drain it down. Yeah. Take the fish out. We might transport it in anyway. and then when we'll okay. take it back, we'll get there and just give it a polish. And yeah. It's not major. I think. Kind of course it before we went. Um, I'm wondering if the timer's messed about. We had that problem on one of the other times before where the timer was messed up. So, did this happen? We, honestly, it's had a lot of attention. Yeah, we've, we've been, been, we have been looking after it. James was uh, in charge of it. So. Yeah. Well, no, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, was, I, I fed them. Uh, what's, what's the cause of the tank going all sort of? Grubby. Well, sometimes when you um, can I get a place for this place? Yeah, yeah, it's just sort of like <laughs> the bones are not right. So sometimes what you do is when when, you, when it's sort of settling in and um, you start you seeing some of our, you just turn the lights off for a bit until oh, you right. back to it. Okay. Yeah, so it's, uh, is this, not, is this not, the worst one we've seen? No. Okay. No. Oh, so that's alright. Well done, team. Oh. <laughs> Arjun. Um, yeah. One of the tank lights, one of the, basically the light was left on for 24 hours. Oh and yeah. Without someone realising, someone must have Looks like knocked a it. Looks like a mass. Mate, it was a lot. But we, we pulled it back, so yeah. it's fine. This is, once we've um, taken out most of the string and <laughs> cleaned out the, um, of the rocks, it will look like as it did. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Fences, so. Well, we were going for a more swamp environment, yeah. you see. Yeah, all, all natural <laughs> look, yeah? <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's the way to go. <laughs> You guys coming on Monday? Uh, yes, yeah, 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 on Monday. Yeah. It's already unstable. I don't really want to pull. I really want to like disturb the rock or anything. Mm. The plants have already started to attach themselves. It's unlike um, if you look at um, neighbours, that has been going for months, so yeah, proper chance to bed it. Mm. What? So he's looking for a lady. He's in? Yeah, yeah. What did he want to bring? He must have loved all the algae that... Um... We're not being filmed on. No, How do you fun. know that? You made a bubble nest in the corner here. Yeah. Oh! So what happens is a female comes along. Yeah, she'll go into that. She'll lay the eggs and then he'll... Do his thing? Do his thing in the eggs. He'll, 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 he'll guard those eggs for as long as... until they hatch. So for you guys for your information, what happened was one of the lights, <laughs> the lights on the timer, oh, they got left on 24 hours back, so I think they might have knocked it back to the middle of the series, innit? It must be to close the just like, green. Thanks, Lots of green. Bye. So, um, so yeah, we're just going to just uh, strip this down now and then get it back to the showroom. What is in there? It's in there. Did they break down that then? No, no, no. Just Splash them, quite a bit. Just say goodbye. Go for it. No, I'll say I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined his little bubble nest. I know. <laughs> Is that another one? He's on that side. Yep. Why has he gone to town today? He's ready. Okay. Oh, no. Luck away your wives and your daughters. <laughs> Do you have them? Um, Female you do, yeah. Can... So the females are very similar um, sort of body shape, but the fish are just a lot smaller. They're not as vibrantly coloured. So would you breed him or you're not interested? So the thing with breeding is that the females and the males, they only interact with each other temporarily. Um, so what happens is that the male would, the female would be in the, in the, um, the tank with him. He's a harasser, he's just constantly trying to get it on all the time, all the time, all the time. Eventually, she'll just turn around. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, he's a bit of a nymphomaniac. Oh my god. So he won't, so he won't stop pestering her. Right. Eventually, she'll just take it as aggression. She'll start biting him back, and it's like okay. nicking his fins. Because in the world, what will happen is the female will come along, they'll do what they do, and then, she'll into, and then she just moves on, move along to the, to the next one or to the next territory. Whereas in a tank, you can't do that because it's in a closed, fixed space. So in that scenario. Causes problems. So normally you yeah. keep like multiple females together. Oh, yeah. And they're fine. Oh, so they're alright. Yeah. It's the boys that argue. That's right. Oh. 
Have you already got an idea what you wanted to get with this one? Um, this will have like a huge, huge effect. Really, really um, new palette. So uh, I think I think with this one, I want them to really focus on on light and movement as opposed to light and color. I wanted to sort of, I wanted to sort of express um, the art of aquascape in different contexts. People often think of it as bright colors. And, Heavy movement. And this is what I find more or less more alternative to that level where this could, this could be something I would see in life, something in the interior. So that's the, the angle we use. You know who'd appreciate that? You know, uh, Greg from the Lightbox. Oh, I, yeah, what was his name? I remember him saying that. Uh, that the tank in Lightbox reminded him of his holiday to Spain. Right. And uh, the beach. Yeah, so we literally we've got. Cobbles off the beach. Some, some um, beach cobble. Hey, let me get this, these songs from. The corn we use it. Balls from. from balls from Coronado, wooden block. Okay, so both of these pieces of the material, the stone and the wood, came from beach in Cornwall. This is heather, dried heather. And this is beach cobble. Yeah, it's really nice. I really like the colour of the palette, so I'm gonna play around a bit and see what I'm cool. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So, one, um, must have been about 2019, no, no, 2013. I did an exhibition with um, Pog and Pog in a, the NEC in Birmingham. And it's, I'd, I'd done it once and I never, I never did it again. I kind of like extended an aquascape outside of the tank. Really? Yeah, I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to put some sand on the actual surface here and play around with that. I think I've run out of stones here. It would be nice to just get one piece just to... What would be the intention? Just putting the sand on there as well. To bring the art into the... out of the other way into the space I mean, to the... Into the, um, into the physical actual space that people occupy, so it's not just the water, it's part of um, the interior, literally. I mean, every verse of this is tension. Is that right, Ed? When you have um, a concentration of aquascape features in 
in a particular area, you call that tension, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I'm not a traditional lap of skate from I just play around with this stuff. He's like the artist. Artist, artist. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I just think people will feel when they see it. First thing I wanted to sort of like open their minds to the possibilities, like I said before, about not necessarily having big bright colours, but you know, this kind of minimalist, um, clean look. And I suppose the, the impression I get, the feeling I get when I just look at this and sort of create this was just breathing. Just breathing. Did I get your, um, your badge for approval? <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> You very rarely give me a good on my ass. You need a few more rocks, but we won't have to extend this a bit. No, I wanted to purposely create that open space there. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Ed? It's good. I like it. <laughs> sort of make use of the negative space above it. So we're not, we're not really sort of focused on trying to make too much of an elevation. Yeah. Yeah, who's that? Are you having an aquascapist twitch? That what you said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't uh, see, I uh, have a twitch every time when you want to plant something with uh, immature plants. Uh, but the beautiful language doesn't really matter. Now that I think this is too good to spoil this plant. You think so? <laughs> yeah. So maybe you plant the jungle with dragonstone. More plants. We can use, but very minimal and well, obvious. I think actually, let's go over the concept of, um, you know like when you see those, those, um, those cities when they've been sort of reclaimed by nature. So you have this sort of, this, this element of like man-made, in, in position on the, on the landscape, and then when man goes away, you know you see you know you're watching those films, and then like the the, the forest sort of take nature sort of takes over the, over the space. Well, you can only achieve flow state when you. As you find out from the story that I carried out, looking at an aquarium or spending time interacting, looking into an aquarium, should we say, consciously taking that moment, puts you in a better state of mind to perform and be social. The opposition to life, which is well, the end of life, which is death. There are no plants, there are no colourful fish. Um, the fish that I'll be putting in here actually, yeah, will kind of mimic or emulate death pretty, pretty well. So 
basically our hardest piece there. So I suppose as you come into the gallery, the first and the first display that you see of the main focal points will be life. And the whole point of this whole gallery is to sort of take on a journey of different aspects of life. All the different types will communicate different aspects or different experiences that people go through over the course of their life. Um, and then as you go around the gallery, see the different displays, you get to this finale, finale yeah, which is the end of life, which in, in, a, in, a, in a funny way, although, although we try and avoid death, it's an important part of the new life. Something needs to die for something to, to live in its, in its place. That energy needs to be recycled, needs to be reflocked. So, this is why I kind of like wanted to make this the, uh, the final piece of the, of the, of the whole gallery. This was, I first saw this, but well, I'd, I'd seen, where's that Mickey Mouse one? It's not on me. <laughs> it's not on me. <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah, did you, you pay for it, remember? You paid for Mickey Mouse one, didn't you? And then I was supposed to come around, remember? Yeah, that's the only thing you did. Oh, no. Which one was that? That was, that, that was the hands in it. That's right, I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, the one. hands. To be honest with you, I just wanted to support you, you know, so I just, I just bought it. And it's I, I'm, somewhere. I bought it, it was like I seen it, I was like, oh, I like that. Yeah. Let me support, man. Yeah. So I bought yeah. it and then I just posted it on my socials. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, you did that. You know, yeah. like, this guy's doing some amazing things, man. But then when I saw this, so at this point, I think I was, in that concept stage with the life gallery, it was like, okay, I, need to, I need to try and find a venue. And then I saw the guy put life, and I thought, so I contacted, did you do that on purpose? Like, sort of like, was it sort of like, you just seen a bit of my work and it sort of like inspired and you were just like, nah, it's just coincidence. So then I thought, right, we need to change this and make it this. Yeah. And then you done that and I was like, okay, I'm sold now. So I commissioned him to create this. And this was, um, this is a, a version of the original, the first public aquarium well, the first planted tank I did for a public display in, in a, so I'm gonna, I've gone back a few years now. And then me and him were talking even further and I said I'd like to sort of showcase some of your work as part of the gallery. So, um, and he's put this together and this was based on the, the design that he found. Unremembered. Unremembered. So what I might do then is put Unremembered right here. Mm. I'll put him right here. And then I'll I'll get some um, I'll get a stand. And I'll just have these. Yeah, I'll put it in the order for progression. Yeah, I can work best. And I've actually what I, and it will look nice as well if I put this one right at the yeah. end. Yeah. So just to showcase an actual timeline. Yeah. And what I might do is get one of the girls. I'll get I'll get Holly to um just do like a inf the little caption for each point just yeah, to yeah. say what what was uh -huh. the inspiration or the yeah, yeah. the impetus at each saying, stage. I was saying I was saying right I was like is this. That's that's where it's come from. Me is like, like I find it's like social media is. We've been on a journey, you know. We've been, we've, we've, just, we've, been on a six, we've been on a six months journey. Yeah, we've done a decent amount of work together. And it's come out like I was saying to I was saying to um, Harry, I was just like I was a bit unsure about this. I was just like, mm. but then you like, as soon as it starts to come together, I was just like, yeah. Because like I want to like highlight what you've done mm. as an actual art piece installation. Because for me, it's not installation. Because it's not just the tank is. Yeah. Piece of art. I was like, I need to make it as good as, mm. or at least as good as the actual real thing. But it's hard to like make something organic. Okay. I think yeah, it's quite challenging because yeah. especially something like a fish that really yeah. changes its yeah. form and its shape. And it's so I showed my dad that, and he's like, oh, "That's a pretty fish." Mm. So he knew what it was immediately. Yeah, so I was yeah, like, "I yeah. still have done it." At least got some justice, yeah. Yeah, and then he's, I saw him showing the visual picture, he's like, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And I told him about the story, he's like, oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, the connections and things like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, man. Brilliant. Mm, it's, yeah, it's. Beautiful sign as well, gosh. Yeah. Slightly gassed. <laughs> <laughs> signed and stamped, everything lovely. signed and stamped. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I weren't very confident, like growing up, going whatever. I weren't very confident. Growing up, did bro? Wasn't I weren't very confident to like? Yeah, I just didn't think I'd. I was ambitious, but I just didn't. 
I don't know, I just didn't think I'd achieve something like this. Do you feel like it was a role that you fit into pretty smoothly? As I've grown older, I've come to sort of like accept. I mean, accepting your flaws and then just sort of like, I know I'm creative, I know I'm very ambitious and I know I can, I'll try and do things that probably aren't normally done. I've always done been like that. So, this kind of fits in with as well as who I am, but if you'd asked me when I was 30, you know, you're gonna put together an art gallery of fish tanks, 60 in aquariums, in a 2.5 million pound building. Yeah. Surrounded by like millions of pounds worth of uh, office furniture. With 61 designers, architects and business people and friends and you know, contacts coming to actually just see your work and your expression of how you think the world is, or the way the world should exist, or where people can improve their their day to day experience. Like that idea expressed through this whole art gallery. It's quite, it's quite, quite mad, quite humbling actually. No, I see is that the art gallery is an expression of your of your character and your personality. Yeah, so I think I think yeah, it does express the different facets of like who I am and like health and well-being yeah, one of them, yeah. The, the different things that I've gone through unbalanced on a daily basis a um, few times I've felt like I've, yeah I'll be honest with you there's, there's been a few times in my life where I didn't even want to live like it's cool. I'd like this is when I was like really really young um, just going through stuff with my family and that and, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't a happy child at times. Not all, certain parts of my child, I wasn't a very happy child. So I kind of get the death thing. It was sort of some, some thoughts I'd had about myself. But like life for me, like that, that first one kind of embodies how I feel now. It's like there's potential in everything, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, just create, create, create and share. So how does that make you feel, like? Watching the watching the progress of this art gallery. It's surreal. It's quite surreal. Just um But at the same time I don't really sort of get too caught up in my own head about it. It's just this is what I do now. Um, this will be done, it's not like the first time this will be done. This is I've sort of I did it the first time. Um we really sort of just played with the idea. We had three fish, uh, six fish tanks, three big ones, and then there was the um, no five. There was three, three big ones, and two small ones. And from that, I managed to create a buzz, some awareness, and about a year's worth of digital content, which I'd used to kind of elevate and promote my profile. This, there's, it'll probably take us two years to disseminate all the content and all the images and all the video that we're going to take over the next week or so, but hopefully um, it inspire people to just think a bit differently about how to not just create their space or just um, express themselves. <laughs>